the, the table that we're building is so large. And if God is so powerful, all we need to do is speak love. Right. And love will save the day. Push uh, God on anybody. All I got to do is walk in it. Mm -hmm. And God will do the rest. But let me ask you this question. If, so we, we kind of see, are, are there, is there any time in life where idols can serve us with? Say that one again. Yeah, when they fail you, you have to look at yourself and wonder why they were your idol in the first place. Okay. All right. Are there times? You mean when, you're, when it forces you to look at why Gosh, why you right. have this need to make idols of things? Right. Or mm -hmm. people. Right. Mm -hmm. That's when they that's when they serve you the best. Okay. That's a good response. <laughs> any, any, time, any other time? Are there any time when idols become unnecessary in your life? See, for me, mine was my parents. I don't care if they're your parents or whomever. They, if they're your idols, they will not last. They will not last. As much as I love my mother, I knew better than to make an idol of her. Right? I knew better. I knew better. I knew better to make an idol. And I loved her. If, if the Lord said, who, would, who, who do you want to go first? I would always say me. I didn't know how I would live without my mother on planet Earth. You know, now, now, you know, I have to, I have no choice. Yes. But I think that fall on you before you know it. You have made idols of something before you have even recognized. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. have done it. And then you find yourself, though, find yourself craving the idols. Uh, your craving for the idols outweigh your desire to be in relationship with God. I've done it. Let it, uh, in my past, let it be past, you know, I, I'm, a big, I'm, a, I'm a big believer in this. I really, so this is me, that may not be anybody, but this is me, this is me. I believe that the successes that I have in life is because the very thing that I value so much, which is my finances, my, which are my finances, I've been broken there and I give it over to God. I trust God totally with my finances. When you speaking loud, when, 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 you know, you know, you know, when that, when my, when my marriage fell apart and the dude moved out and my friends were laughing about the holes in my walls and, you know, <laughs> that's half the income that was gone, you know, all the, uh, and, uh, so I, I, you, I had to make, I had to make, those holes are covered, I had to make a determination, either I'm a tie or use this money to pay my mortgage and for food and so forth and so on. And I, I decided then, I said, God, I'm a, you know, because everybody will get to a place mm -hmm. where you either going, you either going to do or you not. It ain't no shouting going to, ain't no shouting going to mm -hmm. do it for you. Ain't no speaking in tongues going to do it for you. You will reach a point where God will say to you, listen, okay, this is a conscious decision. Is you going to do what I've asked you to do or you not? Yes, Lord. And I was at that point, I either I'm going to be obedient to the word of God, to what God is moving me and to what God is saying to me, or I'm not. And I'm so glad I took the foolish way. And I, the only reason why I said foolish, because on the outside, people would be saying to me, you know what, you sitting up here, you just gave the church $200, $250 a week for your time, and you know by the time you pay your mortgage, and your gas, and your light, and blah, blah, blah. you're going to maybe have, for another two weeks, <laughs> maybe have mm -hmm. a good 75 out of them. And you know your friends. See, your, your friends ain't going to stop doing what they do just because you can't afford to do it. Mm -hmm. But real mm -hmm. friends will help you, and they'll feed you, and they'll, you know, real God. These pressures out there, all these idols always coming at us. Oh girl, oh boy, you look good, you smell good, you start, you start walking in, you start walking like an idol. Now don't get me wrong, you have to walk, my grandma used to say this sometimes, you can be broke as all Joe's turkey, but don't you ever you act like mm -hmm. you broke. Right. You walk with your head up, da 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 Now, because that's, that's different, but I'm talking about when you believe that you all that. To the point where 
You ain't even listening, ain't even trying to stay in a relationship with God no more. And I think this is what happened to a lot of preachers. They made idols of themselves. They mm -hmm. were, they were so, you know, they become so, so they consider, I've been so highly favored <coughs> and wonderfully blessed. You know, that they're walking in this, in this, this, you know, and they'll tell you, you know, I'm, I'm operating on a total another love plane. I'm going to start preaching like that. <laughs> you know, I'm, you know, I, I'm, I, I can't even, y'all, I don't see y'all. I'm going to start looking at football. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's around, around that time, isn't yeah. it? The Lord has me here. The Lord has me here. I'm, you know, I'm so spiritual. The Lord has me, da, 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 and I'm gonna start telling y'all all kinds of stuff, you know. Yeah, and we go, but we go for it because you've idolized me. I got you, man. You see, I've never, I'm, I've never been a fan of. Anybody else's hands in this room? Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, even I get this certain day. Yeah, <laughs> we, you know, but we get into this habit. Uh, we fall into wanting to do. I know some people, you know, I mean, I, it, it, you know, and it hits our community the hardest, the African American gay community, because we always feel like we got to be, we got to be on it all the time, and we got to be this, and we got to be, you know, and we got so full of self hatred. Uh, those friends of mine who talk about, you know, I can't go to the, uh, you know, a church like that, because you know, that's just so full of self hatred. But you go to a church where a man will call you a punk fag and sis and give you money to him and idolize him and worship them, he and his wife, and how, I mean, psychologically.